Climate change has arrived on Fanning Island in ways that the rest of the world hasn't yet seen. The sea level rising around Fanning Island will force the people here to become climate change refugees. They'll have to take their families and leave everything behind because the rest of the world isn't acting fast enough. Sea Shepherd and Waves for Water have come together to alleviate some of those pressures. Our islands are very beautiful islands, and with plastic coming in at a steady rate, it's kind of new. We don't know what to do with it. It's either burned or buried in a hole somewhere. We have to start somewhere before it's too late. With Sea Shepherd, we will be guiding the people to minimize the impact of plastics in our island. We came down here with an assessment to see what was happening. They've had a drought here for the past seven months, so we're trying to set them up. They're relying on well water right now, which has got salt water in it. We brought a lot of filters with us. We provided access to clean water to every village in Fanning Island. We also built three rain catchment systems. Whether it's the ocean or whether it's clean drinking water, water is a basic necessity of human life. There's more than 400 species of coral known to be in the Pacific Ocean. And today, we are in Fanning Island. The number of living coral species are less than 20. Without the corals, the entire food chain will collapse. For the corals to recover completely by itself, it takes hundreds of years. Unless we lend a hand, we speed up the process by propagating them. There's broken pieces here. Give them a new life. And we can build a coral nursery that will replenish the reef. With your support on Operation Clean Waves, we'll be able to come back to Fanning Island in full force and build out a program with the people of Fanning Island. <laughs>